this is into the fire. It's a real privilege to welcome to Into the Fire, fellow South Aussie, the very talented, and Hawthorne's pick 13 in last year's draft, Will, Will Day. That's Thanks for me. Cheers. That's okay. So, how has your first couple of months with the Hawks been? And has anyone taken you under their wing? Yeah, so the first few months have been pretty tough, just the body adapting to the training loads and things like that, but um, staying at Luke Bruce and Jack Gunson's house for a bit, they've sort of looked after me and um, yeah, sort of showed me the ropes for the first few months. Yeah, that would be cool meeting them. Where did you grow up, Will, and how early did you kick the footy around? So I grew up in Glenelg in Adelaide and um, yeah, I was kicking the footy sort of four years old and straight into Auskick at seven. Oh yeah. You've always been a talented sports person. You're a short stop in baseball and played for your state at 187 centimetres. Did you stop when they realised you were actually a tall stop? <laughs> um, no, yeah. So um, baseball was sort of a bit bored of cricket and um, yeah, made the switch over to baseball who my family I had family ties who played, so um, yeah, baseball was good, and yeah, I was pretty tall for the shortstop position, but yeah, it went alright. Yeah. In SNFL, you moved from Glenelg to Westies. What made you make that move? Yeah, so Grandpa was heavily tied in with West Adelaide. He was um, yeah, a bit of a legend there, so as a young kid, he'd always um, had me around the club, and um, I was just zoned to Glenelg, so I think it was always going to happen and yeah, saw a bit more opportunity at West Adelaide in my draft year so made the move over. Yeah, pretty good opportunity. Your grandfather played 38 games for the Hawks and was a premiership player. He must be very proud that you're following in his footsteps. Yeah, he was stoked when um, when my name was called out for Hawthorne. Um, yeah, pretty speechless so yeah, it was pretty special. It would have been special. Your cousin Sam Day plays for the Gold Coast and is a great player. Have you had a chance to chat to him about what is needed in the AFL? Yeah, so every Christmas um, we catch up and um, we'd always have sort of that conversation, but this Christmas is a bit more real for me, so yeah, we just had a bit of a chat about um, sort of managing the body and he's had a few injuries here and there, so um, yeah, just talking about how you can keep in the best shape and sort of come back from a few obstacles that AFL life brings. Don't take on his injury management tips though, Will. He's a bit unlucky in that regard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's had a few pretty bad ones, so... Yeah, definitely. As a footballer, you have played on the back flank for Westies, and your highlights are fantastic, especially your ability to use both feet. Do you think that's your best quality? Yeah, I think um, Dad and Grandpa at a young age, getting me to keep with my left foot has certainly helped just to be able to go either way and um, probably have a bit more time with the football um, just knowing I can go either way so yeah that's probably um, one of my better weapons. Yeah that's great. Talking of feet, you have an outstanding ability to balk opponents. I've heard that you're pretty good on the dance floor too, too Will. Any truth in that Will? Um, no I don't think there's much truth behind that no. <laughs> You have said you can't wait to put on muscle on your 70 kilogram frame. Don't worry, next to me, Will, you look like the incredible one. <laughs> yeah, at least, at least I'm looking big against some people. That's yeah. a bit different at the club though. Yeah. Do you think once you have a bigger frame that you will th then move into the midfield? Yeah, so I played um, midfield as a junior in sort of under, under 10s to under 15s. So... Yeah, once I get a bit more um, body, I'd love to sort of get back in there and uh, I think I've still got a few skills that would help me get there. Yeah, I think you'll be up again in there. You stayed for a while with Jack Gunston when you first arrived. At least he would have given you a good tips on how to leave Adelaide quickly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had a few conversations about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Will, quick answers here. You're having your last meal, what are you ordering? Probably a good pasta. Yeah, it's pretty good. A holiday place you'd love to visit? Uh, I think the Maldives. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Sport you'd play if you weren't playing football? Uh, I'd like to play basketball. Yeah, I've always liked playing basketball. It's pretty good. Worst habit? Uh, probably snoring. Oh. Biggest celebrity you've met? 
Uh, Jack Gunston. <laughs> and finally, would you rather be on Bachelor or Survivor? Uh, uh, Bachelor. Yeah. Well, Will, no one leaves my show without me helping you go from a great player to becoming a legend. You see, you'll become bigger and then you'll go into the midfield. Being a midfielder means you'll kick that amazing first goal before you know it. You don't want to stand there in front of 50,000 people with nothing to do. So I have the celebration for you. It's the end of the fire. Do you want to have a try? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> well, Will Day from the Hawthorne Football Club, you have an amazing future ahead of you, and you're going to be an amazing player for years to come. Thanks for meeting me today, and good luck for the future. Thanks for having me. Cheers.